तो स्टार्ट रिकॉर्डिंग होगी You we'll see today recording. I'm deleting all these things. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to. so for recording uh, what you have to do just click here capture the steps of your automation to be converted into flow actions so if you, you want to select something here like uh, say record you write here something You can write here. You can select this. You can select whatever you will do if you want to click on this. Okay, and then doing all these things, you say done. Launch new Chrome, then populate, populate, select, set, click on web. So now, if I will close this, automatically it will do the things. This is what recording is. Then, sir, it is the substitute of other things.
Okay, now I am also getting this issue. Extension issue. कोई भेज भेजना है Not able to launch this. Okay, sorry, launch new instance. But it's sorry, my mistake. I have to take this URL. It has just saying attached to running instance. I will say launch new instance. Give the URL, and now it will work. Let's see. That change you have to do, it is attaching to the got it. Hello. Yes, sir. But that name is not good. One small change you have to do is like instead of this attach uh, run instance, you have to make it launch new instance. So it will work as every time it will launch the Chrome and it will work. Okay. Rest all, whatever you have done there, it has captured and given you the automation automatically created so it will help you to create automation in a faster way got it so, uh, so why to use browser automation means where is the necessary difference no, everything you cannot do the, uh, with this if you will do you will understand everything it will not capture properly okay so but and another thing is like uh, here whatever uh, UI elements it is being captured okay that will not be proper if you will go and edit this you will see that will not be proper some or the other that is another thing got it yes yes so that's the main the recorder you cannot use for the actual automation. Actual automation you have to do with browser automation. Okay. Okay, sir. So this actual is automation recording. means. Uh, yeah. Actual automation means. Uh, actual means what? Getting a bot. Yes, right. Getting a bot. Here debugging is also don't have much things. Okay, debugging means if you see here, this is only debug. This part only run by action. Or maximum you go here, run next action, toggle breakpoint, and run. 
that's all. Breakpoint means you go and click here. This is the breakpoint. So if you will say run, it will go and stop there. It will pause there. Okay, see, it will stop there. Now if you will say run next action, one step ahead it will go. Okay, then again run next action, one step ahead it will go. Okay, if you want to stop, you can stop. So this much only they have given in UI pattern only will go. There are great functionality of debugging. Here there is no functionality of that much functionality of debugging. Got it. Debugging means sir, uh, like uh, program is running or yeah, is anything error in there? So we... yeah, but basically, uh, yeah, for that only. But so debugging is finding no the error method, method like which statement so there are error. Debugging means debug your code. Means explore your uh, code or automation or bot. Okay. So if you want to just run it step by step and see whether it is fine or not, you will you will go for debugging. Okay. okay That's what sir. you are asking, right? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Going to step by so, step and just yeah. Okay. Same way, if you have to remove this break, like five places you have put this breakpoint, okay, like this, and you want to remove all the breakpoint because you understood, okay, my things are resolved now, so you can say remove all breakpoint, but here that much only for debugging, okay, this is run next action and breakpoint. Okay. Another thing is subflows. What is subflow? Subflow means here you can go and create subflows like new subflow, give name, my data, or same login, log out, like that. Save it and create. Somebody has done this. Uh, I have seen somebody was showing me the. Uh, Assignment in that I have seen they have created a subflow. So it's like and in this, uh, how you will do, you have to run. Voice is not coming, sir. You are not audible. Here it worked. Okay. Now here data transfer is also there is no issue. Okay. Like in this my data, if I have created some variable, okay, like uh, I will take set variable for this. Oh, okay. 
so if you will if you will think this data variable from subflow you want to utilize here here also you can utilize there is no issue i will show you that so there is no data transfer um, logic here because all the data is being shared between subflow and inflow data is there no? i will say so that that variable which i have created in my data here okay is being used here in this so if you will execute this variable is having hello india value right? sorry so one thing you have to do that is input an external value external name here you have to do some setting uh, i am forgetting this setting actually my data here only you have to go at create that variable normal will be used inside this only but here you have to utilize as output variable give name my data data type external name my out description data my data is being created here and give my data main also now i will give my data now it will be passed i believe so i will tell you the concept of this one data is also not passed okay then passing of data i need to check so well, this is out data this should get passed here for that purpose first we have to run that my data app where it will go to main and it will show that data uh actually it should be uh, both way okay like if i am executing this you are correct that this is coming from a uh, subflow so the generation of data will be here but actually if third value is there dash pass here also okay let me check so why it is not being but this is the concept input output variable concept i will tell you uh, in detail so sub flows you have seen how to calling passing data with means sub flows i will tell you uh, so we have seen recording debugging and sub flows today okay this sir, much in, you go and try yeah. sir in windows automation how to extract data sir extract all the data all the extract all the data in the windows automation so same way how we are doing with browser right ui automation data extraction is there so it should work there how i have done with uh, web similar way but sir but the, the only, but yeah, yeah there's the condition one condition is there that the html tags should be same 
then only it will extract all the data at once. If one is div, one is uh, text, another one is uh, something else, then it will not take. Okay. Okay, sir. In web, why it is taking always? Because you will see once it is highlighting, it will show div, div, div. So all the div HTML tags it is taking. If the similar uh, structure will be there in uh, in Windows application, then only it will take. Okay. Okay, sir. So tomorrow we'll see few more topics. We have not much left, but tomorrow we'll try to finish this exception handling PDF automation. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Oh, I, I was too tired today. I, I cannot give hundred percent today, so I've taken the small topics for you. So, this any day we have to teach only. So that will be finished. Tomorrow we will uh, connect back. This you guys go and practice, especially recording. Okay, that will be helpful. Okay, and sir. the older ones, if it is uh, left out, just try to do that. We'll meet tomorrow again and we'll discuss in detail. Sir, tomorrow at what time, sir? Uh, tomorrow's time only, like whatever time is decided. Today, actually, I have to take my vehicle from the showroom. So it has taken time. Uh, I, re I reached late to the... I have not okay. taken any class, only yours class I have taken. Congratulations, sir, for new vehicles. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Tomorrow, same time, 7.30, I will, will connect. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir.